give you all the glory. Say, you are Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord, wherever you are. We are grateful to God for giving us another opportunity to be counted among the living today. We continue our program and I would want to encourage you to take part actively, pray, and let God do his own portion in your life. In the name of Jesus, we want to begin. Let's just lift our voice and thank God for this great privilege he has given to us. We are alive to see this day, the 24th day of the month of July. This is the doing of the Lord and it is marvelous in our eyes. Just lift up your voice and say thank you to God. Bless his holy name. Give him praise in the name of Jesus. He deserves the praise. He deserves the glory and honor. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We lift your name on high. You are worthy of our praise, Lord. Our deliverer and provider, the source of our strength. Our Lord and God Almighty. For in you we live and move and have our being. We are alive because of you. You are the reason for our lives, O God. What shall we render unto you this evening, O God, for all your benefits towards us, Lord? For protecting our lives, Lord. For providing for us, Lord. For keeping us alive, O God. We bless your name. We thank you. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Oh, we give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He Here 
Christ. Oh, we give glory to the Lord. I am the Lord of Suda by Antora by Antada Badabaya. I am Dorian Dalele Kaba Baba Zura Batada by Andaya. Who and the Lebra Feca Son de Leambo Cabay and Dilian Dalaba. E Antoba Lebra Feca Zuba Rabayata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, just lift up your voice and pray that today the Lord will visit his church in a special way. The Lord will come and be among his people and minister word of life to his people. The Lord will do something new in the life of his people today. Just lift your voice and pray. I makaluma ni mahaza tarabo shadara balibria. I katoba liya brofe kazuba la bala ko shadara balia ndala baha. I antola balia kari ambo shadara balia baha. I andole ba kabala brofe kazuba liya matele. I andore ba show kali andele brofaya. I andole ba kabo sabari ndala baha. I andolo balia karabu jarabe tala baha. E tala bo zabatele balia bo. I andole brofe kazuba liya bro fire ha i andolo ba kala bo shala la bala bala ba ha leri le ba kala re ke te ke sokoto ba i entele bali amba ha i entolo bali amba ha i endolo bali akaba ha holy spirit of the living god i kalo maze kala bo shara ba de bria i kalo maze kala bro fire kasa ha i andolo ba kala ba ha do something new in our lives today do something new in our lives today do something new in our lives today. Visit us a God in a unique way, in a special way, Lord. We trust the God, the Father. Wherever two or three are gathered in your midst of God, in your presence, there you are, in your midst of God. Spirit of God, we know you are here. Speak your word of life, O God. Encourage the discouraged, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us so bali and bahata. I am loka ba juri kaza. I am dole by kale babo baze bare amota yen tolo bolo 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 bozo pa ya leta se kala I am dole bro fe kazura basora ba ya ndala ba ya masa tala ba ya mandala ba ya open my eyes to see Jesus oh sit down upon the throne open my eyes open my eyes oh to see Jesus sit down upon the throne Holy Ghost, the Ghost, do it again, do it again in my life. Open my eyes, oh. To see, to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Open my eyes, open my eyes. Oh, to see, to see Jesus. Sit upon. Ask him to open your eyes and that you will encounter him today. That you will not go back the same in the name of Jesus. Allah ko shadada ba ya ko lima ya to di anda ha. Yan dole ba kala bro shadi di bri ambo ba ha. Ayan dole ba kalo ba zubara bro kaba ha ya. Yen to la be ba be ya ko la be ya. Yan to rakata ba ha zunto bari amba ha. Yan dole bro fai kazo bali andele ba ha. Yan to 
bale ante la le kaloba aya lo baba so bari amboka le babea mekato rabake toli amaya endele kabo jabarabo talaba ianto rakaba rakaba rabaleba e mako babo sabato barebro aya kola bo shabale brofa aya anto rabro fai kaso bale andala ba ianto balabro a touch from you lord a touch from you lord a visitation of god in the name of jesus for in your presence there is fullness of joy at your right hand there are pleasures evermore visit us a god in a special way lord touch our lives a god in the name of jesus christ let us sakali ambo kashou da ba ye tolo vale bro fai kashou vale bro fai biri andele bala ba in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, I call Rebi and Dolebaha. He that lay Kazo Talibrofa, he that cometh unto you must believe that you exist and you reward them that diligently seek you. Father, there is a reward for us, O God, as we have come to seek you, O God, as we have come into your presence, O God. Yes, O God, we will not go back the same. Spirit of God, Ladi Kabo Sharadabaha. I am the Lord of the Babos, the Bale Bato, Walabaha. I am the Lord of the Babos, the Bale Bato. I am the Lord of the Babos, the Bale Bato. I am the Lord of the Babos, the Bale Bato. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I call him a Kale Babo Babaha. I am the Lord of the Kalobri Abo Kabaha. In the name in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. You are here. And because you are here, Lord, we will not go back as we came. For we believe, O oh God, your word declares. They that come to you must believe that you exist and you reward them that diligently seek you. Father, with diligent hearts, we have come to you. Lord, open the treasuries in heaven, O God, and pour out your blessing upon us. In the name of Jesus. Let your word, O God, be preached with power. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that there will be liberty, that there will be freedom, yes, that there will be joy, yes, there will be deliverance. Yes, In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we thank you, Holy Spirit. You. you are here, and so we are grateful that you will bless us. And you will do that which you have said you will do to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People of God, if you are here, just give a shout offering unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God is good. All the time. And all of the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. God richly bless you. Please Amen. have your seats. We continue our journey of greatness today being the third day. We began by saying that God's intuitive mandate in us for greatness calls us to yearn desire and grow for greatness because he tells us in Genesis 1 28 that he blessed man and he said unto man be truthful and multiply and fill and subdue and have dominion over the fish, the sea, and over the birds of the earth, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. 
So that God's mandate and command in us causes man to yearn for greatness. And we use the case of David and the prophet Samuel in the book of First Samuel chapter number 16 verses 1 through to 13. And we said that for you to get to that greatness, you need to recognize God's sovereign power over your destiny. Because in his sovereign power, he has made a plan for you. Not only a plan, he also has a strategy or a direction to achieve whatever he has set for you. And not that alone, he also has provision for that achievement. And so you need to recognize that God's sovereign mandate, God's sovereign power over you will accomplish that greatness in you. On the second day yesterday, we said that we have to accept God's criteria for greatness or success. And we realize that in that context, there were two criteria recognized. One is man's standards and the other is God's standards. God's standards of which we place the emphasis is that God looks into the heart, the intent of your actions. And so because he alone knows what is in the heart, he demands that you have a clean and a good heart so that he will be able to use you to accomplish whatever he wants to do with your life. And we saw how he used David because he has said that I chose him a man after my own heart because he will do what I want him to do. And so for that reason, you need to have God's criteria by having a heart that is desiring and yearning to do the will of God. And with that, you will be able to get there. Amen. Today, we want to add the third step. And we are saying today, that you need and you must keep to diligence. If you are here, wherever you are, say to yourself, I must keep to diligence. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 A story is told of an ant and a grasshopper. You know, in, during the, the summertime, it's holiday. So the grasshopper was jumping and singing and, and, and enjoying himself. And ants and the children were just carrying pieces of wood and stuff. And were keeping them for one day. And so the grasshopper told the ants, ah, why are you worrying yourself? Come and let us enjoy ourselves. It is hey day, hey time. Don't worry. And the ant said, you don't know what you are talking about. You don't know what you are talking about. Before we realize, the winter had just come. And here lies grasshopper that the, the, the dew and the cold and the stuff has crumbled everything and could not get anything to eat. And here was aunt and her children enjoying themselves in their caves in the hills. And the grasshopper went to them. Can you please give me some of your stuff? And he told them, no. When we were working, you were celebrating. It is time for us to also enjoy. 
The reward of diligence is celebration. The reward of diligence is enjoyment and abundance. And in much the same way, I want to recommend and suggest to you today that if you will get to the top, if you will continue to enjoy and be in God demand and authenticated plan of your greatness, you need to keep to diligence. You have to do it. Yes, sir. It is not a choice. It is a command. It is a mandate. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Diligence, according to the dictionary English, English dictionary, says that it is careful and persistent work or efforts. And he continued to add some benefits to it. It says that diligence leads to dominion, whilst laziness results in being dominated. It says that diligence makes the difference between the rich and the poor. Diligence is necessary for seizing opportunities. Diligence leads to profits and satisfaction. Diligence leads to growth and promotion. Diligence, diligent plan or diligent planning avoids daydreams and nightmare. People of God, knowing these benefits for diligence, we must keep to diligence. Yes, we must stay focused. We must keep to the task in our hands. We don't have any leisure time. The time is now. Yes, sir. The time is now. Amen. You have to keep to diligence. David, according to the verse, let us read the first Samuel chapter number 16, verses 11 to 13. This is our emphasis today. First Samuel 16, verse 11 to 13. So he asked Jesse, are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest. Jesse answered, but he is tending the sheep. Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. Verse 12. So he sent and had him brought in. He was ruddy with a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, rise and anoint him. He is the one. Verse 13. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the spirit of the Lord came upon David in power. Samuel then went to Ramah. Hallelujah. Amen. According to verse 11, we read that David was tending the sheep. He was keeping to the task given to him by the family. Though that tending sheep or that work he was doing we are not told that was the reason for his, him being chosen. Because we have established that uh, God chose him 
by his own sovereign power. Because he said, he was a man after my own heart. And that he, David, would do that which I want him to do. And so we know it wasn't because he was turning sheep. But because God has mandated, he had already chosen him. But notwithstanding, we also know and we are aware that <laughs> but a man's gifts will make room for him. A man's gifts will bring him before kings. That is what Proverbs chapter 18 verse 16 says. Chapter 22 verse 29 also says, Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mere men. Chapter 10 verse 4 also says that he, he becometh, that is that King James, he said, he becometh poor that dealeth, dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. Verse 12, chapter 12 verse 24 also says that the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Hallelujah. Amen. So indeed, much as we know that it wasn't by keeping the sheep that defined his choice by God, we also know that what he was doing, what was in his hands, was also an indicator that God could also use to bring him. And indeed, when you read verse 18 of the text that we are using, 1 Samuel 16, 18, and I want to read that one. David's skills and gifts brought him before King Saul by recommendation of Saul's servant and messenger. Listen to what the servant said. One of the servants answered, I have seen a son of Jesse of Bethlehem who knows how to play the harp. One, he is, he is a brave man. Two, and a warrior. Three, he speaks well. Four, and it's a fine looking man. Five, and the Lord is with him. Hallelujah. Amen. By this criteria and recommendation, David was brought before Saul. This evening, could your CV be as rich in terms of diligence, in terms of skills? As we see about this man. This is the man. That received the attention. Of God. This is the man. That attracted. The heart. Of God. People of God. What could be said about you? Keeping to the sheep wasn't. Something pleasant. If you don't know let me tell you. It was a dangerous thing. He was exposed to the wilderness. He was away from home, the comfort zone. He was not enjoying the security. He was not with the brethren. Whilst they were enjoying and sacrificing and celebrating, he was there in the midst of wild animals, the lions and the bears. He battled with them. It was not a joke. It was not a pleasant task at that moment. But one thing he did, one thing he did, he kept focus. He stayed focused. This is what my hands are fine doing. I will do it with all my strength. I will do it with all my power. I will do it with all my heart. I will do it with everything within me. This is what my hands has found to do. Paul said that, I know, I know, I know, I have 
not achieved the mark yet. But one thing I do, one thing, one thing I do, I press on toward the mark. I press on toward the mark. That is the one thing he knew to do. What is the one thing in your hands? What is the thing that you are holding? God wants you to keep. He wants you to stay focused. Don't be disturbed. Don't be confused. Don't be frustrated. David was not disturbed by the lions and the bears. He was not disturbed by the denier of enjoying the parties at home. He was not disturbed. But he said, oh, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> this is all that I know how to do. That is all that I know how to do. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? What is in your hands? What is in your hands? Keep to it. Keep to it. Keep to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You must keep to that. Keep. That is the one thing you know how to do. One thing. Whether you will kill me, one thing. Whether you will deny me of my right, one thing. Whether you will not serve me, one thing. <laughs> If I die, I die on that thing alone. If I live, my focus is on that thing. <laughs> Wherever I go, this is what I know what to do. I am keeping it in hand, in touch, in safe. I will not leave it. I have nothing to do but that one thing. Not two, not three, not four. One, 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 one. Keep to that focus and be diligent to it. Hallelujah. And the Lord will bless you because I know his diligence was a preparatory grounds or a tool for the appointed time of God's promotion. So keep to that thing. Be diligent to it. Don't leave it. Don't let others own attract you. No, you would have said, ah, like, 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 like the, 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 the prodigal son. What is it that my father does not have? <laughs> what is it that I cannot get from him? Why not I go back? No, 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 no. You would have said that, ah, if I were to be at home, I would have been part of the dining and the dinner and the enjoyment. But I am not worried. I am not worried. I am on the field, keeping to one thing. Shepherding. That is all what I know how to do. What do you know how to do? Keep it. And the Lord will use it for your promotion. Hallelujah. Not only must you keep and be focused on that thing, but you must also know that <laughs> there is timely divine reward for whatever your hands are finally doing. <laughs> there is a reward for that. From verse 12 and 13, we can read, David was sought for, he was brought home. He received standing ovation. Hey, 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 he received standing ovation. Hallelujah. And obeisance from the brethren. Hey, he was pleasant to behold. A good looking gentleman. This is the man. He was anointed by God. Hey, he was appear his appearance was new what was unique this is the man he was approved by god he was confirmed by god he was recognized by men this is the man and finally the bible says that the spirit of the lord came powerfully I want you to stand onto your feet and make that declaration. He said that the Spirit of God came powerfully upon him. Yeah, make that declaration. God, may your Spirit come upon me. 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 May your power come upon me. your power come upon me. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, I pray for you today. 
that may the Lord remember amen. your diligence and hard work. Hey, say amen to that. Amen. May the Lord remember your diligence and your hard work. Hey, may the Lord remember your labor of love and sacrifice. May the Lord remember you. May he bless the work of your hands and be fruitful in everything that you are doing. May the Lord honor you. May the Lord promote you. May the Lord establish you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May he promote you above all your equals in the name of Jesus. And may the work of your hands be established Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May he cause your enemies to fall flat before you. Jesus name. May he cause them to fall flat in before you. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, I declare to you yes, that your promotion is right here. Amen. Your favor is right here. Amen. The time to favor you has come. Amen. Arise. Yes, sir. Arise. Yes, sir. Recognition has come. Recommendation has come. This is your time. Soon and soon, the Lord will take you there. Soon and soon, yes. the promotion will come. Amen. Soon and soon, you will receive the grace. Amen. Soon and soon, soon, your territory will be enlarged. Amen. Soon and very soon, the Lord will do it. Amen. What he has said, he will do it. Amen. Faithful is he who has called us. Oh, he never fails. He never changes. Amen. He is the same yesterday and forever today. He is the same. Amen. That is the God we know. Amen. That is a God we know. I hear the sound of abundant rain. Let to 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 Lift up your voice and bless him. Lift up your voice. He is God. He is God. Lift up your voice. Bless his holy name. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to sing and dance. It's a sound of victory. Hey, hallelujah, hey. Oh, 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 hallelujah, oh, oh, let it sound of rejoicing fill this place. Oh, hallelujah, hey. sing it with joy, hallelujah, oh, oh. hallelujah, hey. Oh, it's a sound of victory. Oh, hallelujah. Eh. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, he has made the way. Why? Well, there seems no way. Ah, hallelujah. It's a sound of breakthrough. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, let this house. Oh, he has made a way. Where there seems no way. Oh, hallelujah. Hey. It's a sound Oh, hallelujah eh. Oh, hallelujah Oh, oh, oh. Let this sound Arise, shine For the light is come Oh, arise For the light is come Oh, the glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord is come. 
Ah, the glory of the Lord is risen upon Arise, arise, shine for the light is come. Oh, arise, mm. the glory, the glory of the Lord. Ah, the glory of the Lord. Ah, the glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord. Ah, the glory of the Lord is ah, the glory of the Lord is risen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Oh, let the redeem of the Lord say so. I'm redeemed. Let the redeem of the Lord. Oh, let the redeem of the Lord. Ah, let the redeem of the Lord. I redeem, I redeem, praise the Lord. Oh, ah, Lord God. By my great power. Oh, ah, Lord God. Nothing, 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 nothing is too difficult for me. Ah, nothing is too difficult for me. Hey, great and mighty God, great and counsel of mighty sea. Oh, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing is too difficult. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. I am the Lord. Just lift up your voice and thank God. He is thinking about you. You are not alone in the battle. You are not alone in the field. You are not alone in that dungeon. You are not alone in that lion's den. In that difficult situation. You are not alone. I want to give you praise and glory. You are not alone. God is faithful. He is with you. He will not leave you alone. For where yes, you are me and where you are I will so never God. leave you, you nor forsake you. This is the promise of the Lord. We will give you honor. He changed it not. He changed it not. He is faithful. We make up our mind together. Faithful to his promise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He is our God. He is our God. He is our God. Let a tata tire. Leandro Bando by a mandala. As a Biatoleke and Talala. Yeah, Yalala Copa Sandala and Alaya. Hanina Talandala. Oh, my Andale. His power to save is just the same, and I'm glad to say that Jesus in other face if God has done a miracle he will do it his 
is far to say, and it just oh, I'm glad to say, Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 11 and 12 we want to pray that God bless the work of my hands whatever your hands are fine doing God bless it the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity amen in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground in the land, is swear to your forefathers to give you. The Lord will open the heaven in the name of Jesus, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands you will lend to many nations but will borrow from none of them let's open to Psalm 90 verse 17 Psalm 90 verse 17 Psalm 90 verse 17 May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Amen. Establish the work of our hands for Amen. us. Amen. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Amen. Just lift up your voice and pray, Father. In the name of Jesus. Establish the work of my hands. Establish the works of our hands. Bless the work of my hands. Bless the works of our hands. Whatsoever my hands are fine to do. Lord bless it. Lord bless it. Lord cause the increase. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Cause Bring the, the fruitfulness cause of God. The cause the in the increase. name of Jesus. Jesus. Tonight, in the name of you the are the God of increase. You, you are the, the God of increase. We pray tonight for the Lord. Father, we pray your hands. Our hands are found to do. Father, pray over that business. Pray over it. Ask the Lord to bless us. In the name of Jesus. Pray over that career. Pray over it. Ask the Lord to open a way, a door for you. Pray, pray, pray. I don't know what you are expecting from him. As the Lord to establish you. As the Lord to favor you. As the Lord to promote you. In our workplace, in our offices, we In the name of Jesus. Father, you will bless it. In that office. Father, you will bless it. God, you In that business. In the mighty name of the Lord. In that marriage. Whatsoever your hands are smart to it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As the Lord to bless it. Let it be established. Let it be established. Lord, in the He is the God of increase. He is the God of increase. Favor comes from Him. Truthfulness comes from Him. When He opens the door, nobody can shut. When He closes, nobody can open. Ask Him to bless the work of your hands. He will do it. He has what it takes to bless you. Let us open. Lord, establish the work of us. Hey! I see the rain of abundance. I see the rain of 
That is the God that we serve. Amen. That is the God that we serve. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. This is our last prayer. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. It said, But remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so confirm his covenant, which he swore, he swore to your forefathers, as it is today. Remember, it is the Lord that gives you power. The power there is interpreted. It's he that gives you the ideas. It is he that gives you the strength. It is he that gives you the skills. It is he that gives you the good help. It is he that gives you the peace to accomplish whatever you are doing. I want you to offer this prayer unto the Lord. Father, grant me new ideas, In the name of Jesus. new strength to carry on. In the name of Jesus. Whatever I am doing, Lord, grant new ability, new strength, new joy. Father, to carry on whatever I'm doing, just offer the prayer unto the Lord in his presence. In the name of Jesus, Father, grant strength, O God. Empower us, O God. The wisdom of God, the power, the ability, the ideas, Lord, to create work, to do your will. In the name of Jesus, let us all wala bahaya na haya. Ah! Ya la 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 Open our ears to hear our spirit of God to perceive new ideas, fresh strength of God, wisdom of God to do that which you are trusted in our hands. Oh, 
Whatsoever your hands has found to him. Hold on. Stay focused. Yes, sir. Be persistent. I hear. And consistent. Yes, sir. Do not move. Do not be detracted. The law will make a way. Amen. And it will reward you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to what Professor Paul Alfred Paul Marshall says in his book. He says that David's rejection by his family members and isolation in the lonely, deadly wilderness with his father's sheep as his closest companion were used by God as great and priceless opportunity to train and prepare him for greatness and rulership. Child of God, let us keep to diligence. No matter the challenges, knowing there is a great and a timely reward. Amen. And so on our journey of greatness, let us remember intuitively, let us recognize God's sovereignty over our destiny. Let us accept his criteria for our greatness and success. And let us keep to diligence. And in his own time, which I believe might be now, or tomorrow, he will bring the reward. Amen. God richly bless you. Amen. God establish you. Amen. God promote you. Amen. And God keep you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We will take our offering. God bless you. Let's take our offering. Take a very good offering. If you are in the house, please remember to momo the offering. 0546230943. That is the Momo number. Hallelujah. It is our last night. Give a very good offering. So into the message. This is a message to greatness. So into it, your life will never ever be the same. Amen. Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me? When I call Is it true that you are thinking of me That you love me Say it's amazing It's amazing It's amazing Come on sing It's amazing Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. It has been a wonderful night. Let's put our hands together for our speaker tonight. Amen. So, on Sunday, we will climax. Come prepared.
receive from the Lord. Amen. Amen. To all those who are home and are coming on Sunday, you are warmly welcome to come and enjoy with us as we climax our 2020 July prayer and fasting. God bless all of you, especially the technical team. Can I single out Kojo and Fred and others? Put your hands together for them. Ever since the program started from the home, they've been very consistent. I will sit in the office and I will see that by 4, 4.15, latest by 4.30, Kojo will be in. He will drive in, come, sit down, and set the place up for worship. Let's, let's do it again for him. God bless you, all technical team. It amazes me where some of you come from every evening. Yes, you have the program telecast. I'm so proud of all of you. And also the, uh, can I call you the, uh, the protocol bench? Those who are responsible for the protocols. You're turning to see somebody behind you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Eric and T. Where is Dr. Yas and I was saying? Dr. Whatever you are in hearing me, congrats. You've been very consistent. Amwa Kwa and uh, uh, Gabi and all that. Hey, that is, I always forget about you. Uncle Brad too. And, uh, thank you all. God bless you. It's been amazing having you around to get the work done. So proud of you. Let's put us together for everyone, everyone, everyone. Amen. Okay. So let's be on our feet, share the grace, and then we are off here. Sunday, the time is 9 uh, to 10. And then God willing, we will announce what we're going to do from the first Sunday of August. I think that we must begin to think of having two services in the morning as we take on a new teaching series all together. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord ever and ever. Surely, there is an end to my expectation for 2020 and beyond. Shall never be cut off in Jesus' name. Amen. Is, is, is Sir Martin here? Oh, Sir Martin, you are not here today. Wherever you are, we are clapping for you. Let's clap for Sir Martin. And I also think that Dickin Osei, Dickin Osei has traveled out today. Wherever he is, may it ring in your ears that we appreciate your service. When you were in the house, he was coming every Sunday, every Wednesday, and, and his contribution was so immense. So, Divine and Skilo. Oh, I was talking about Divine, I said Dennis. I'm sorry. Divine and Skilo. All of you, all of you. The, the isn't, it's not yet also, this is just by way. So thank you all. God bless you. Have a good night and have a fruitful weekend. God bless you. See you again on Sunday. Bye-bye. Oh, Clement. And keep you Brother Clement. They call him Papa. Papa Clement. Eh? Papa, 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 Papa Clement. Papa Clement. Bless you. Lord, <laughs> Yeah.